how to live without a job and still make sure you pay all your bills on time. Let's talk about that. Aside from having a sugar mommy and sugar daddy, living off your parents like a spoiled people of my generation, some, not all, okay? There are ways which you can rely on nobody but yourself. If you're fed up of living off of other people, and now is your time. First way to do it is to have a lot of lot of money in your bank. A lot of people know this advice. You already know this advice, but how many people actually practice it? As much as half or bare minimum 4 out of 10, 40% of people don't have enough savings to fall back on. This means that during normal times, people don't bother saving. Like, what do you spend your money on? I don't know, it's your life, but I believe that most people spend their money on what? Buying shit they don't need, so they can impress people who forever won't be impressed with you, no matter what you buy for them. Do you really need to have PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4? Last time, my whole entire freaking storeroom, my whole entire freaking shelf is a freaking game shelf. Every single drawer I open, games open another drawer in my house games then i start to wake up then you realize that oh you know what all these things i don't really need it if i have extra money instead of using it to subscribe to netflix i choose to invest those extra money into stock market into assets for a lot of people earning money is way easier than preventing themselves from spending that money so i want to give you a second tip control your expenses now I know sometimes on this channel I talk about okay don't focus so much on cutting expenses because you gotta focus on what are the ways that you can earn more money. But I've seen way too many people they double triple the income right? But then as their income doubles their expenses somehow also double triple quadruple because a lot of people they feel that they need to reward themselves. You work so hard to get this raise. Now you deserve a five star hotel stay. And then there are people around telling you things like like what do you earn all this money for if you're gonna put all of it into the bank? The problem is a lot of people don't know how to balance. If you have to draw a proper graph, your income should grow faster than your expenses. Now of course if you are what people call a spenderholic or shopaholic, don't blame yourself because sometimes these things are psychological. Because sometimes when you have pain that you brought forward from the past, Let's say, for example, you went through some divorce, you went through physical abuse, and you try to reduce that pain by going to shopping because that makes you happy. It is almost the same thing like how people go for alcohol, how people become game addicts, addicts in anything, just because something in their past is just so painful or something in their current life is just so painful, they just want to escape from that pain. It's just that different people have different ways of escaping and for some people, unfortunately, their way of escaping is through spending money, through shopping. Don't blame yourself because what you need is to talk to somebody and discover what is your underlying reason, underlying reason for your spending habit. Because it's not just as simple as, oh, because I just want to buy that bag, it looks nice. It's not because of that. It is because of the fact that you are buying nice things to reduce the amount of emotional pain that you feel inside. Understand what I'm saying? There's no use attending financial courses, how to cut your expenses. There's no use watching tons of how to manage your finances, YouTube videos. There's no use if you don't address your psychological aspect. Now the third way you can live without a job while still paying the bills is write an email to a YouTuber and then ask them for money. Just like some people learn how to generate passive income. Doesn't matter what kind of passive income. Can be rental income, can be affiliate income, can be income from your freelancing, can be income from your website, from the app that you've developed. Now a lot of people think that passive income is something that you can just set up and after that you can sit back and relax. I can tell you it's not like that. Once you set it up, you need to put in effort to maintain that passive income that is coming in. So if right now you're out of your job and you have zero income, you have no income and you're spending all this time at home, you have nothing to do, learn a passive income skill. 
if you are still working 9 to 5 right now, Saturday, Sunday, learn the passive income skill. And then when shit happens, you're gonna thank yourself so much for building this passive income. Because passive income is going to help you go through those days where you cannot work, where you are retrenched. On those days when you are depressed, you cannot get out of bed, passive income is gonna help you. Doesn't matter if you are mentally sick or physically sick, passive income is gonna help you go through those days so that gives you less anxiety and less stress so if you want to know what are some of the ways that you can generate at least one thousand dollars and what are the passive income ideas that i have for you after the video in the past you can go and check it out so i'll talk to you in the next video bye